Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Suki and this is Octogen Not Included. It's about time for another rocket launch. I tried to automate this system <laughs> as much as I can. Uh, so right now, the, the system works as follows. I have this manual OK switch and then I have this override for the doors. Um, however, this is a filter gate so that I can separate these two signals from each other so this doesn't bleed back into this one. Uh, so that's like a one-way bridge, basically. Um, this filter gate is just set to like two seconds, so this needs to be green for two seconds before it sends the, filter, the signal onwards. Okay, um, so basically what happens here is as soon as we receive the green signal to send the spaceship off, it's going to set this buffer, which which is this memory toggle, right? As well as this buffer. Now, this buffer is set to 200 seconds. This memory toggle, as soon as you get a green signal here, it sends a green signal through here. This buffer, if you get a re red signal through here, this keeps sending a green signal for the amount of se uh, seconds that you basically send it through. And this then controls the power switch. Um, what basically happens, these guys then turn on as soon as the power switch is engaged, and they start scanning the skies for the rocket's inevitable return. So once they detect the rocket and they send a green signal, it's going to reset this back to a red toggle, while at the same time running through here. So this is going to get a green signal while it detects the rocket. Sending that over here is going to bypass this because it doesn't run through and open the doors. Okay, so it takes at the highest quality for a network. Um, they detect the rocket 200 seconds before the rocket actually comes back. So that's why I set this to 200 seconds. Because the moment I can't have this disengage immediately because then these are going to turn off. They're going to send a red signal and the doors are going to close. So that's why I need... When the rocket ship is returning, and any of these pick them up, because my ro my 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 uh, satellites aren't at 100%, so they'll find it anywhere from 200 seconds to 150 seconds. Um, that depends. Each one of these go through a dice roll, which is then mu uh, multiplied, uh, you know, added and divided by the 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 individual scan quality and the network scan quality um, to see whether or not it detects the ship coming back or not. Uh, it doesn't matter which one of these sends a green signal first. If one sends a green signal, the entire thing is green. It then open, starts opening the doors, and it starts the time, time down, uh, the countdown timer for this, which once the time has run out, this turns red, and it turns them off, which then safeguards you know, the amount of power that we use so that we don't run these batteries dry. That seems like an uh, like a overkill solution for what is essentially just, I could just put more batteries, <laughs> but whatever. So with that out of the way, I guess we can assign, uh, let's send Legion Beast again. Let's wait, let's first make sure we select it. Excuse me. There. Okay. Oh, poopy. Yeah, I destroyed the telescope. I didn't think I needed it anymore. My bad. This can literally be anywhere. Just come. I hope I didn't lose all the scan data. That'll be absolutely silly. Someone just come and build this again. It's fine. I didn't know that would happen. <laughs> Okay, so let's select. Uh, we went to this one already, so let's select this one. Okay. Can't launch the rocket, we need to have. Where's Legion Beast? Alright, Mr. LB. Come and hop in. It's time we send you off. Any moment now, Mr. LB.
Is he busy researching? No. Mr. Legion Beast. I just selected him. Where is he? He's assigned. What do you mean the astronaut assigned? The one is assigned. Where is he? Oh, he, he, no. I thought... Yeah, that is him. Excuse me. You were on your way to the rocket. Now you want to go sleep? God damn it. Uh, let's follow him. Really, Legion Beast? The swanky space pad. This always looks like our eyes are bleeding, and I really don't like that. It's launch day, you know, but take your time. Why? No, follow. Did you have work to do? Okay, so now I'm just getting mad. Why are you not getting on the rocket? LB, why are you not on the rocket? Please get on the rocket. Where are you? Uh, right, toss. He's at the bottom these days. So what's happening right now? Why do I have 16 idle people? You can pass without problem. What's going on? Is That's fine. Everything is fine. Am I missing something? What? That's Harold. Where is... Keep losing him. Like, like where is he? Why are you just standing there? Get to the ship. What's going on over here? Where are you going? You're docking your exosuit. Can you not reach this? It has a grand tree. Can you move up here? You can move up there. Why are you not moving to the rocket? I'm extremely confused. Maybe if I assign it to another person, like Barney? Okay. Where's your helmet? You're not wearing any helmet and it's freaking me out a little. Is LB gonna show up? Do you think? They showed up just fine. Let me see. This might be something that I should be googling. Is it because he's a researcher? Is he conflicted with 
the research that I'm doing right now. I don't want to use a solid fuel thruster. I want to go for the... Okay. Interesting. Yes. Yes. I am confused. So they say it's because it could be because where is he? There he is. It's they say it's because operating is turned to very low. I doubt it. Well here he comes. Alright. No idea what that was about. Okay, so let's see if the gantry gets destroyed again. This time it's more than enough tiles away. Or, well, there's an entire tile between them. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at uh, my automation. What are we still missing here? No, this is all fine. So let's send a green one. It? No. Oh, now all of a sudden everything is. Okay. Take it nice and slow this time so you can see the rocket launch in full detail. <laughs> go, go, steam rocket. Alright, so these guys are now turned on. Why am I not able to click on them? What? Why can't I not? <laughs> you see, it's skipping over the space cannon. What the hell? You see this behavior? This game is so broken sometimes. It's not being uh, it's not able to select the memory toggle either. It just completely <laughs> Okay, well these are closing at least. <laughs> what is that behavior? Okay, well good. It, so far so good. It's acting like it should. Why can't I select you? Automation? Now I can select you. <laughs> what happened? Okay, so... Let's see how my battery's holding. No, they died. So why did you die? Let's have a look. 
Okay. Is it because you detected the ship? As it was leaving. I think that uh, that is a way. I haven't tested this yet, so this is a, this is a good way to just quickly have a look at it. Okay, so I think what we need to do now is I'm gonna just set this to green. Okay, that way it'll override this. That's good to know, that's good to know. So I should put down another filter, so a filter gate uh, over here, which then effectively, uh, yeah, mm, it's, it's hard. Uh, because I don't want them, they detected the rocket now as soon as, uh, as soon as it left. It's just curious, um, but anyway, I'll, I'll figure that off out, uh, out of camera. I want to see. Wait, wait, where's my star map? I want to quickly check how long this mission is gonna take. Oh, not that long. Another two point four. Excuse me, game. Okay, another two point four slash. I can't unpause. Okay, this is starting back up again. Uh, they're charging. All right. Oh, and uh, I finally got this system set up. So I deconstructed a little bit of it. You'll notice that there's petroleum over here. Um, so the petroleum is now on every one of these, keeping the robo miners nice and cool. How did I manage that? Because the petroleum that I poured in here was uh, 160 degrees. Well. I'm pumping them through my cooling solution that I already have nearby. <laughs> Smart. I, I think, at least. So, yeah. I literally just pumped them with some radium pipe through the cool area I already have nearby. And then just pump them through all of the little water... Well, petrol puddles that I have down here. And my robo miners are nice and cool. Granted, I did overkill it a little bit with the amount of freaking wheeze warts in this <laughs> but whatever. You know, make a plan and, you know, just do it. Okay, I'm, I'm just watching this because I'm very curious about whether or not this is going to work. Let's have a look at the star map. I don't want my dupes to be idle while we wait, so I'm going to start giving out orders. To start dealing, I don't want to. Let's 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 just lock you. I don't want people going in here because I'm gonna start opening this up. So just go and lock. Thank you. Um, if that's the case, let's have a look. This is the top. This should be four. This should be the next level. Right, we're keeping them consistent. So then one, two, three, four. Like literally right here. That's where the next level should be. One, two, three, four. I usually increase that a little bit. Or Just for the sake of keeping everything to fours, because I have, I've I've switched over like between four and six uh, when clearing out these bombs, just so that I use less deodorizers. Uh, but uh, you'll notice that this area isn't that full of polluted carbon dioxide or polluted oxygen anyway. Everything down here is still working perfectly fine. I'm actually kind of surprised how well this works. But we have another one to tap, and I'll just slowly keep filling this up as it goes. Okay. So uh, there's a freaking butt ton of oil down here, too. And we haven't even cracked into this, like, collections that are still left. But we'll get to it. We'll get to it. While that spaceship is out there going ham, 
Uh, it's time for us to also go ham. Ham bony. Ha ha ha. That's a Canadian joke. Uh, cool. I'm opening up down here first because uh, we dump our toilet water <laughs> in here. Oh yes, thank you for showing up and then immediately having to leave. And it's also like a little bit of a dream of mine to just have this tube completely circle our <laughs> base. Uh, look at all that freaking hydrogen, dude. Oh, okay, so let's have a star map look. Oh, still another cycle and a half. Good. Alright. not all concerned about all of this up here though it's gonna fall down and we have deodorizers all over the place already it should be more than capable of dealing with that eventually i'm gonna open up down here and all of this is just gonna run down into you know our collection pit uh, and i still feel kind of bad about this so-called collection pit because It's not big enough. But we still have to make some plans with this. I think I'll sort that out while we're waiting. Uh, so, yeah, just grab this. We can seal these up. Uh, one, two, three, four. I don't want to do it all the way. We might have to over there get up from there. Nah. Easier that way. Okay, so yes, we can order the command and we can start breaking these. Let me just make triple sure that nothing no power nothing else is running through these areas because I just gave a okay. A deconstruct command. Let's make this slightly higher priority, gents. That way we'll be able to squeeze a little bit more water in there. Okay, you just did half of both of the jobs and then left. Why? Let's keep an eye on that star map. It baffles me just how the priority system in this game works. I remember I switched over the priorities to local priorities at some point, right? Yes. buildings yes now we can also deconstruct here this is the highest priority don't want that temperature leaking into the water hey bubbles thank you for playing bye storm up Poor Legion Beast is out there on his own. At some point I'll have to break into this area down here. I have no idea how I'm going to do that. but mm, That's a project for another time. 
I might just go like around here. That's just gonna be crazy. Look at the difference between these two. 1693. We obviously don't even want to touch this stuff. It's a good thing that uh, Abyssalite has like literally no thermal conductivity. Come on, game. Okay. Yeah. So, even though this is extremely hot, this has, this does not have the ability to conduct temperature anywhere else. Even if you build something directly next to it. I should put some dystopian, like, emergency measure into play. Like, yeah, we see the transit tubes and stuff, but I can break this. And uh, put, like, one of the blocks, block versions in here. And then put, like, a door here, and then we can open this up. But that would be a bad idea. Ideally, we'd like... Or just like... <sighs> have like a... Hydro sensor down here. And if it detects water... Send like a signal to some bunker doors or... S not bunker doors, just... These powered mechanized airlocks. That just immediately slam shut. Hello, printable? Mm, really? Sand? You know what? Whatever. How far are you? Oh, what? You're coming back? You're already back. Poop, I missed it. I assume the system worked because this is off. These are not destroyed. And, uh, well, Legion Beast is no longer assigned. Oh, well, the gantry is destroyed again. How? Oh, we have the data banks. Juicy, juicy data banks. Vacillator charge. What's that? Replenishes one charge to depleted neural vacillator. Ooh. Where'd that come from? I appreciate you guys pumping steam into this again. I'm not entirely sure that's going to be necessary. I'm not sure we're gonna actually go again with the ship. Uh, so what? Where was it last time? Industrial ingredient, right? Data banks. And that's let it reach out. Come and get those bad boys. Okay, so the poo thing is, is I can't just. Can I just deconstruct this? No, I'm probably. I probably can't. So, yeah, uh, we are able to probably finish the next research level from here on out. Okay, things are opening up over here. They seem to be working at um, embarrassingly slow rates. Why are you disinfecting that? Why are you disinfecting anything? You just clean your hands when you go through there anyway. Whatever. Okay, so... Did somebody have the wherewithal to go and get the freaking data banks yet? While well, my game lags up? Hey, hey! There you go. So... Still waiting delivery. Alright. Oh, there they are. And a Legion Beast can go back to his research. 
Meanwhile, let's have a look at uh, Nicola, our little current gerbil. Still running, huh? Still not quite there yet. That's adorable. Uh, we have another rocket navigator. Rocket man. Mm, more strength. Everybody should have improved carrying. It's just so good. Yeah, and everybody does have it. All 20 dupes have it. You can see it right there, idiot. Um, so we're, you're still training. You guys are actually done already. Mm, sure. Get better at excavations. You as well. You. I don't know what to do with you. Legion Beast has 20 freaking skills. Yeah. How's our food looking? Oh. We have absolutely no igneous rock left. Is that what you're saying? Let's see. Uh, it should be Roman roll. We have a little bit. Not nearly enough, it would seem. Yeah, I think what we have is sedimentary rock at most. Which is unfortunate. These guys are eventually gonna start getting really hungry. But then again, I don't really mind more anymore at this point. We do have more than significant amounts of... I should just suck up and have this conveyor rail actually running all the way back here. Why are you wigglies? So I do think it is the end of the hatch era. So I'm not gonna bother with replenishing them. In fact, I think I'm probably going to stop entirely. So just thank you for playing, Gen One. It's the end of the hatch era. Are you running to? Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We had six. I almost said hatcheries. Ha ha ha. One, two, three, four, five, six. I am counting all of them, right? So currently we have. One, two, three, four, five. Five over here, and I can build more. I can very easily build many, many more. Yes. Especially if we just have this water drop down maybe into this area. Just open up this entire, well, you know. Yeah, okay, like over here and they just have water <laughs> everywhere <laughs> ah sure have it from here up to here and then around like across and then just have all all this water this water all the water just fall down to here so we have like a central location for that this as well Oh, uh, then I can turn this on to permanently pump and we can open this door as well. Okay, oh, so far. Aha! Empty that bad boy up. A lot of salt water.
Okay, let's have a look because it seems like things are running really slowly over here. I think I understand why. I don't like how this is just like endlessly flowing in a circle. Will things break if I cut this? I have no idea why that was happening. There you go. Now the salt may flow. This is why, like, if, if you talk about programming and stuff, leaving yourself hints or just like commenting your code is very important because I wish I could leave a comment for myself like why did I put this here? why is there two liquid bridges? what's going on here? this is filled with petroleum but I can just destroy that and somebody can come and get the petroleum actually cancel this. I, I might need that next day. We don't need the other one. This is also something I like forgot when it came to these guys over here and I just kind of freaking panicked uh, and set up like this elaborate system. What what you could do is, if this gets full, just deconstruct it and rebuild it. If you deconstruct one of these, it leaves like a nice fat single container of liquid with all five tons in a single spot on the floor. And you just rebuild this and, you know, they can take care of that at their own leisure. But, yeah, I didn't think about that the many times that the system overflowed and just exploded. I'm glad you're having a wonderful time. Now the que curious question is, do we have enough steam for another run? S no, we don't. Unfortunate, we all ran out of steam. Not the end of the world. And just pump some more liquid in. But I don't think we're gonna ne need steam rockets again. Uh, if we look at... Like, these two are all done. This one has Neobium. That is important. Let's look. Now, Neobium, if you do recall, is what you use to make Thermium. And now Thermium is a... It's like steel on steroids. It has an overheat temperature of plus 900. That's insane. So, if we build something out of thermium, that's what you're going to be using to, like, you know, freaking build a, a, a liquid pump here in the magma. Even though I think that's still also a little bit ridiculous. But, yeah, uh, so thermium is an industrial metal alloy formulate to maximize heat transfer and thermal dispersion. So, uh, we can use thermium for our heat transfer system over here that's also going to be incredibly useful uh, it, we can make the radiant liquid pipes out of it as well uh, it's very useful as a conductor and to build items that need to stand high heat visco gel is going to be fun because it makes this little airlock system basically obsolete visco gel can stand on its own two tiles high like where most liquids will slump down and as soon as it reaches the maximum pressure for that tile, it starts spreading out. Or not even like the maximum pressure, as soon as it 
reaches a certain pressure, uh, it just starts spreading out over the floor. Um, this visco gel goes upwards. It's very useful. Insulation is kind of a big meh one. Don't really, I don't know. I don't know. Insulate reduces insulation reduces heat transfer and is a component of recrystallized abyssalite. So this uses isoresin and abyssalite, some reed fibers as well. This creates in like this is also yeah. Look at that. Its thermal conductivity is zero point zero 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 one. So that is like ceramics on steroids. And then finally supercoolant, which... Yeah, supercoolant is slow heating, but also supercoolant just doesn't freeze. Fullerene. So that's what makes supercoolant so vitally important. Um, it just, it never freezes. So when we're, once we'll be making liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, it's going to be important to have that around. But um, I think that does it for this episode. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I appreciate a like and a comment. Uh, I will figure out this freaking system so to automate it. And I will appreciate it even more if you would tap that sub button. Um, but thank you for hanging out with me today. And I'll see you in the next one. In the next one, we will absolutely have a petroleum engine already um, while we start going to the next planets um, until we have uh, and then uh, then it's basically just building the liquid oh uh, we have to get the the resources for the for the super coolant visco gel and thermium um, after that it's getting liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen and then we we start running we make that big old ship to get to the hole in the sky right there but that's it thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one